Welcome, I'm Jeff Frick with Silicon Angle. We're here at HP's Discover 13, and I'm here with Jiong Trainer from That's Alliance it. One. We are, we're breaking news here. Uh, it's not announced yet, but we, uh, we found out you're gonna be soon announced as the partner of the year. Yes. So congratulations. Thank you, that's a great news for us. Yeah, that's <laughs> terrific. So tell us a little bit about what you do at Alliance One, uh, both as the company and why you're winning uh, partner of the year. Okay, so I don't have all the reasons why we won, but <laughs> at least I can give you some insight <laughs> yeah. of what we do with um, HP. So basically, uh, Cosmos is a pure play, uh, player in uh, the network intelligence technology. So basically what we do is we classify and extract uh, network information on uh, on the fly and we pass this information for further uh, analytics uh, process for, uh, for instance. So we've been working with HP for three, four years now and we've got some live deployment uh, in uh, APAC and uh, it seems that the customers are happy and uh, they are giving uh, good feedback so that might be one of the reasons why we're a partner of the year. Good and how long has the company been around? So Cosmos was founded in uh, the year 2000 but okay. uh, there was a, a, a reset in 2005 so it's been I would say seven, eight years we're in this network intelligence uh, business. Okay. The, the company has a steadily uh, growth and right now we're above uh, 100 uh, employees. We're making 50 million euros, so in USD that should translate in 20 million, something like this. Great, great. And so what are the types of applications that people are using the intelligence that you're pulling off the network to do? So the, the main use cases are, I would say, the quality of service, quality of uh, experience, uh, security, and uh, analytics. Uh, so everything to, to better understand the usages, the behaviors on, uh, on the network. Okay, and what's the secret sauce? Why do you guys do it better? Than, uh, than people's alternative options. Actually, because we, we were really focused on uh, what we, we do, and what we do is to classify and extract in, in real time, and uh, we have uh, leveraged uh, HP hardware, we also have some partnerships with uh, Intel, we leverage that their x86 uh, technology, and what we, we do is that we do it better than the, the competition, so this is uh, why we're here. Good, so talk a little bit about kind of the, the, the whole big data explosion and what's going on with big data, Internet of Things, industrial internet. Are you starting to see that in the traffic flow through your application? Are you able to handle yes, that? Yes, kind of yes. How is the profile of the traffic changing since 2000? So to, uh, to, to, to us, like two years ago, people were asking to be able to monitor like uh, 10 gigs uh, link, and at the time it was like sci-fi just to be able to, to monitor without losing uh, any information in, in real time. And now when we go back to the customers, they're complaining that uh, 10 gig is not enough, they want a 20 gig, and they're already talking about one terabit per second uh, solutions. So we see the, the, the growth by the, the, the demand from the, the customer side. And how's that impacting your guys' product development? Are you able to handle that with the architecture that you uh, have? The, the, or this you, is difficult. You're working but, hard? Uh, <laughs> not only we're working hard, but we, we need to, to make some drastic uh, changes. So we used to, to work on uh, embedded uh, servers, the, the ProLiant, we're running on the G8 uh, right now, but now we're aiming to, uh, to, to move towards the Flex architecture in order to, to be able to, to scale and reach this uh, terabit per second uh, throughput. So using uh, using it your own kind of cloud solution to burst up for these types of. I know we're going to, to to leverage uh, HP uh, hardware. Uh solution as well as also uh, some uh, Intel uh, components. Okay, great. So one other question, your partner of the year. When Meg talked uh, in her keynote, she talked about wanting to make HP a better company, an easier company to work with from a partner perspective, also from a customer perspective. So you've been around for a while. Has, have you seen a kind of a change in the culture in HP from a partner perspective? And easy, uh, you know, uh, easy I to say work? That, uh, and, uh, yeah, kind yeah, of the HP tone? it's a uh, company really easy to, to work and uh, what uh, I do appreciate is that it's a global company so you, you know we have in counterparts in, in, in Italy in APAC in the US as well and because they belong to the same company it's easy to, to understand their, their mindset because they're they are all aligned so that makes it very easy to work with HP. Oh good so besides being partner of the year which again we're breaking news it doesn't actually happen for like two hours <laughs> what, what else have you enjoyed here at the show what, what are you kind of taking away uh, this to, 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 to me, this is just to, to, to get a, a grasp of uh, where the market uh, goes, just to, to understand uh, what people 
are uh, thinking about the, 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 the short future, so that provides me some uh, insight and just help me to position what uh, the, the next portfolio shall, shall be. Great. Again, it's uh, Guillaume Trainer from Alliance One, Partner of the Year, Breaking News. We'll, uh, he gets the award in a couple, uh, a couple hours. Thanks for, uh, for coming on. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. All right, thanks.